Well, listen to this. Republicans and Democrats in Minnesota have finally found something that most of them can agree on. They're opposed to attacks on medical devices included in the state's health care reform bill. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser is here to tell us why they're so united on this issue. Yeah, yeah. and really, it's pretty simple when you look at it. Minnesota has more than 300 medical device companies employing thousands of people. Some members of Congress say the tax could cost jobs and stifle development of new medical technologies. And the computers talk to the hydraulic unit and control the... Aaron Holmes says he's a living testament to the wonders of medical technology. He has two prosthetic legs made by a Plymouth-based company that allow him to lead a normal and productive life after a devastating accident. Within nine months, I returned to work full-time, completed over 25 rounds of golf, traveled the U.S., several states for both business and leisure. Holm testified at a hearing conducted by Republican Congressman Eric Paulson in Plymouth. The hearing focused on a $4 billion per year tax that's part of the Senate health care bill in Washington. Holm fears it could reduce the amount of money spent on research and development of new medical devices. I realize every day as I age and I get older, I need the products to get better. I need them to support me more and more. Executives of many small medical device companies say it usually takes years to become profitable even without the tax. And with no profits from which to, to pay such fees, uh, those monies would have to come directly out of research and development and payroll. Congressman Paulson calls the tax a job killer. We should be lowering the cost of health care for consumers and for businesses and employers and employees. We are not doing that with the bill that's moving forward right now. Over 10 years, the tax would cost medical device companies in this country $40 billion, despite opposition from Republicans and Democrats in many states with medical device companies. The proposal remains alive in Congress. Reporting live, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News. State